Hey golfers and welcome back to the Second Swing YouTube channel. Today we are providing you with more content with the University of Minnesota men's golf team. It is Ben Warian. Our uh, lovely lefty is with us today and he is working on his driver with his assistant head coach Larry Bobka. They're in the tour van at Minnetonka. Ben has some questions about his driver and how to improve it. So let's take it to them in the tour van, Larry and Ben. So driver's been knuckling a little bit. A little bit. Probably not performing quite as quite as good as we'd like to. So let's hit a few shots and we'll see. Yeah. And you've made a few swing changes. Correct, correct. So I also made a couple of swing changes um, just to to kind of make things things move a little bit more efficiently, be a little bit easier on my body. So okay. yeah, this naturally been fine and that's kind of been been yeah, honestly knocking some spin off, especially the longer clubs. Okay. Especially the longer clubs. Yep. So love to dive into that a little bit. Yep. So let's yeah, let's see what let's see what we get here. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean they're they're right there. I mean we've you know, didn't quite catch the spin, but the right. launch is down a little bit and the spin's down a little bit. Right. And if you're trying to carry something, what do you do? You start you start feeling like you got to do this right. to get the ball in the air. Let me have that for a second. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see where we're set. Yeah, should be ten and a quarter, I think, for loft. It's loft of just a it's loft one notch down, and then obviously because of that, just a touch flat as well. Yep. Well, we're gonna make your life easier. We're gonna make your life easier. All right. That's what I try to do. Sometimes I don't, but I try. <laughs> oh, I, I man. try my very best. He is. He's a master. To make everybody's life a little easier when it comes to their golf equipment. He is the master. Thank you, sir. Yeah. All right. There you go. Launch already up. A, yep. About Launch up, spin up. There you go. Yeah. Different golf shot right there. Right. Much straighter. Right. Carry goes up. Right. Distance goes up. Absolutely not. I don't know. I, I don't like to tell my secrets. I don't like to tell. <laughs> no, actually he had it lofted down a little bit to ten and a quarter. I just lofted it. I just lofted it up. It's a ten and a half degree head. That's actually lofted up to eleven and a half right now. Eleven and a half. There you go. But, well, there, there's another thing as well for I feel like for everybody at home. You know, I feel like there sometimes can be some misconceptions over, you know, lofts or, or clubs that you might play that might not be conventional. Obviously, not many people right out there have, at least at, at my level, 11 and a half degree heads, but it's, it's whatever works best, you know, well, no matter what. It's, it's whatever works best. And I mean, hard to, like we talked about, hard to argue with that versus kind of our first shot. So, well, John Rahm plays a 10 and a half degree head lofted up to 11 and a half. Yeah. Louis Oosthuizen has always played a lot of loft in his driver. Yeah. Larry Bobka plays a 10 and a half lofted to 11 and yeah. a half. Yeah. So it, it's about, I mean, if you think about it, you know, is, is you work to try to cover the golf ball. Yeah. Why should you have to feel like you have to hang back with your driver? Right. I mean, you should feel like you should be able to cover it. I mean, years ago, Patrick Harrington would come into the title of test, and we actually made him a driver with like 12 degrees aloft so he could practice covering it. Well, he ended up going and playing for a while and won a British Open with a higher lofted driver because he felt like he could cover it better. Yeah. You know, so there's a lot of things that, you know, you see the loft, you, you see, you know, you'll see stuff on Golf WRX and this is what somebody's playing, blah, 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 this and that. But you don't really know how that driver is set up for them. You right. know, a lot of times you really don't. You don't know that, hey, maybe there's extra rat, rat glue in the back to make it spin or make it not spin. So when it comes to fine tuning for a player like yourself, I don't really give a darn yeah. what loft it is. Exactly. What I care about is results. Right. And for you, you've been struggling with your driver, and it's more because it just doesn't have enough loft on it. Right. You know, I've, I've seen you hit some shots lately, and, you know, uh, to me it looked like you've been hanging back on your driver. Yeah, trying to trying almost to, feel like you got to help it up a little bit. Air. 
you know, and this is a good one. Let's hit a couple more. Yeah, let's do it. You know, one one shot isn't necessarily uh, a miracle. <laughs> right, right. Good indicator, we'll but try, yeah. We'll try a couple more. Yeah, exactly. There you oh, go, even I a low. Love, I love 1224 for you. Yeah. Look at the carry. Look at that. That's there you go. Beautiful. And that's even on a on a slight kind of kind of block. I maybe a touch ahead of that one, and that's still, I mean. Nothing, absolutely nothing to hurt you right there. Exactly. You know, more carry, more carry, good distance. You right. Know, your game is built around control. Right. You know, just had Jacob in here, just had Jeep in here. You know, Jeep's got a lot of speed, hits it really hard, hits it a little bit farther than you do. Yeah. Game's a little bit more bomb and gouge than you are, where right. you're, you're, you know, you've got plenty of speed, you've got good speed, but it's a little bit more built around precision right. than it is about distance. And, exactly. And, you know, a guy that's a precision guy, you know, look at Morikawa, uh -huh. you know, just took apart the field. Right. Same kind of player as you are. 100%. You know, it's all about control and it's all about having having the right tools in the bag. You had the right tool, just had the wrong, just set it the wrong way. Let's hit a couple more. Absolutely. And hit a couple shots with it. Hit a yeah. couple fades, hit a couple draws. Let's see what happens. Absolutely. I'll hit one more stock one, then we'll start to yeah. really have some fun. But yeah, yeah, I think. Because that, you know, your level of competitive golf is about the ability to stand on a tee box and hit the shot that's required. Absolutely. There you go. So that was kind of a lower pull, yeah. but still, right? Spinning 27 yep. versus, I don't know, might have yeah. spun half yeah, of that with the probably, with the old setup. Let's see. Let's see if we uh, can here, bring up the, here in the bay if we can get impact. No, oh, hit that in the center of the face. It's a shame you can't hit the center. Of the I face. know. I know. <laughs> so yeah, a little bit of a pull. I mean, yeah. it's just you know, hey. Golf is about managing your misses. Exactly, but but again, so so just like you just like you said there, right? I mean that that spin rate at 27 versus right my first shot with my old setup, very similar golf shot to that spinning at probably I think it was 1600 16, something like that. 1685. 1685. Yeah, I mean that that's like you said managing your misses. I mean that little bit of a higher spin rate certainly makes that a little bit easier there. Yeah, and you know in Vero Beach that that 1600 is going into a bunker or going right. in the trees or going somewhere where you don't want it to go. Exactly. Yeah. So exactly. hit a couple more. Let's hit. Yeah, let's hit so, a fade. Let's hit a draw. Yeah. So we'll get one. Where it is. We'll get one. A little higher, tipping a little bit right here. A little bit of a draw. Yeah. There you go. A little high toe. And yeah, there you go. Nothing to hit. Look at that. 292, 314. Yeah. On Absolutely a, on, hammered. On a, on a miss hit strike, which is really cool. And again, that's where that, that higher launch just absolutely makes a world of difference. You know? My wife says, I don't know much, but I know this. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, you know, this is where I would, you know, I would test it a little bit. Yeah. You have room that on the golf course or as you play, to dial it back a little bit, but I would never go back to de-lofting it. Right. I would always keep it in a more lofted situation. Right. Shaft is good. Everything's good. You hit it, you know, hey, you shot 64 with that driver <laughs> and it was in the wrong setting. Right. So now you can go out and shoot 60 with something in the right setting. I like the sound of that. How about that? So <laughs> I like the let's sound hit, of that. Yeah, let's hit one more. Yeah, we'll get one kind of back to yeah, just a little see. bit. Of let's see. Let's let's pick a uh, let's pick a hole. How about eighteen of eighteen at Vero Beach? Eighteen at Vero Beach. All right, beautiful. Uh, so for little dog, little dog leg left over water, bunkers over the water, mm -hmm. bunkers on the other side of the fairway. So exactly. We, we got to hit it and play. Let's let's hit the shot. Exactly. Got to hit it and play. And actually, there was a there's a big benefit to being able to carry the ball a certain distance as well. Because there's kind of a line on those bunkers on the left. It's about 275 to carry. Right. And for me, because I was launching it so low, was having a that little bit of trouble. Tough, was kind of having to get, get, get a hold of it to carry. Yeah. So now let's hit that. Yeah, let's yeah. hit that well, shot. Well, that, that last shot you just hit covered it by about 20. Exactly. So. Exactly. So we'll hit similar shot, get a tip in just a little bit left with the dog leg here. See what we got. See what we got. 
There oh, we go. just hang on to the right side. Yep, just a little bit, but there, but there's the carry distance that we didn't have. Again, yeah, there it is. That's getting yeah. it by by 12 on a yeah, very you know, yeah. kind of normal strike, not having to go after it at all, and yeah. So, so here's what I would do. I would work on it a little bit. Unfortunately, it's that time of the year in Minnesota where golf is becoming not possible because we have that white stuff that flies getting a little um, chilly getting a little chilly and the stuff flies but you know work with it indoors at the facility see what you're doing you're going to play some stuff over the over the break right over the christmas break we right got some tournaments i i would just keep it there and then just stay in touch if you feel like outside maybe it's a little high it's really not i mean no, if you look at height wise, it's it's absolutely perfect. Hard to get in trouble with 102. Yeah. Yeah. So I would just I would just keep working on that and see how it goes. I love it. Perfect. All right. It's a pleasure. It was he a does. pleasure as always, Mr. Bobka. Pleasure yep. as always. A lot of fun. Yep.